Hi guys, my name is Andres Sava, and today I will be discussing the thermal conductivity of water and air. The materials that we'll be using today will be uh, balloons, regular balloons, water, and a lighter. So what is thermal conductivity? Well, thermal conductivity is the rate at which heat is transferred by conduction through a unit cross-section area of material when a temperature gradient exists perpendicular to the area its ability to conduct heat. Heat transfer occurs at a lower rate in materials of low thermal conductivity than in materials of high thermal conductivity. The larger the heat transfer coefficient, the more heat transfer occurs. The larger the thermal conductivity for a fluid, the larger the heat transfer coefficient. Therefore, the heat transfer coefficient for a liquid is higher than that of a gas. Thermal energy. What is thermal energy? Thermal energy refers to the energy contained within a system that is responsible for its temperature. Heat is the flow of thermal energy. A whole branch of physics thermodynamics deals with how heat is transferred between different systems and how work is done in the process. And this is according to the first law of thermodynamics. Water versus air. One of water's more significant properties is that it takes a lot of energy to heat it. Precisely, water was, has to absorb almost 4,200 uh, joules of heat for the temperature of one kilogram of water to increase by one degree Celsius. The thermal conductivity of air is 0 0.024 watts per millikelvin, and that the thermal conductivity of water is 0 0.58 watts per millikelvin. So water conducts heat more than 20 times as well as air. As the molecules heat and move faster, they are moving apart. So air, like most other substances, expands when heated and contracts when cooled. Because there is more space between the molecules, the air is less dense than the surrounding matter, and the hot air floats upward. So imagine having a, an air in a closed container and trying to heat it up and raise the temperature inside the container. So the air molecules, they're going to start to move faster and faster and faster, trying to move upward the container, but the container is going to be closed. So they're going to start heating up the, uh, it's going to start heating the sides of the container in order for them to break and leave the container. So that's going to, end up in explosion of the container. Water, on the other hand, is able to absorb heat without increasing much in temperature, better than many substances. This is because for water to increase in temperature, water molecules must be made to move faster within the water. This requires breaking hydrogen bonds, and the breaking of hydrogen bonds absorbs heat. What is heat transfer? In physical science, heat transfer often refers to the process by which matter exchanges thermal energy. As such, there are three key ways through which heat energy is transferred between matter. Conduction, which is heat transfer through solids. Convection, where heat is transferred through gases and liquids. And radiation, where heat is transferred through any medium in a vacuum. So we're going to watch the video about the experiment. <clears throat> so the first balloon is filled with gas, just air. I just blow the balloon and I tied it. And we see when we touch the balloon with the lighter, it explodes right away. These three balloons are filled with uh, three different water uh, volumes and also different um, gas inside of them. Some of them are a little smaller. Some of them I blow them a little um bigger balloons and we notice that as soon as we touch the uh, lighter on the balloon on the side of the water nothing happens in all three balloons we can see that you see the black dot at the bottom nothing happens as we can see here as soon as we touch the flame of the lighter on the air side of the balloon, something interesting happened. The balloons 
explode right away. Observations. When the balloon filled with air touches the flame, it bursts. However, the balloon that contains the water does not burst upon touching the flame. So that is because the balloon that is filled with air, uh, <clears throat> the air expands quickly when it does not absorb the heat from the rubble, which causes the rubble ball to stretch and eventually break to let the expanded air out. The balloon having water and air does not burst. It is because water absorbs the heat from the rubber band and through convection currents, it carries the heat away from the rubber while cold water replaces the rising water. Conclusion of the experiment is that the experiment confirmed that water and air are both heated through convection current. Nevertheless, the thermal conductivity of water is higher than the thermal conductivity of air. Water absorbs far more heat than air, making the balloon heat proof. As such, water can be used as a hidden tank.